stories. And tonight, as we continue profiling these folks who keep their eyes on the skies for you, we take you to Chimenez, where Chris Cars is quite sure it's one of the mildest spots in the whole country. Go online to review weather data for Chimenez, and you'll see the work of one man, Chris Cars. Right here is what I like to call affectionately the official Chimenez weather desk. He's a retired Environment Canada meteorologist who, for more than 20 years, has kept detailed records of the weather in Chimenez. Uh, I've maybe missed maybe somewhere between half a dozen and a dozen days, maybe over 20 years. Okay, all right. It's an impressive commitment. Definitely no rain. <laughs> Made a little easier by the fact that there is a government-issued weather station in his backyard. So there's our maximum so far of 29 for the day. His love of weather began early. Uh, even as a very young child, I started noticing the clouds, the cloud patterns, and then uh, uh, first, like any kids, I was just looking for dogs and animals and things like that, but then uh, rather odd shapes, but then I got interested more on the technical side of it. Interest turned into a career. Now in retirement, he hasn't given it up. Chris regularly updates Wikipedia articles on the subject and conducts his own research about West Coast weather. As I compare um, data averages that I've made over the last 20 years, and I compare that with uh, other stations on Vancouver Island and the BC mainland, the, the, you know, the coastal area where the mildest temperatures are known to occur. And uh, I think at the very least, I think Chimenez is going to be tied uh, with maybe a couple of other communities as the warmest in Canada, but uh, maybe I'll come out a little bit ahead. It's a distinction which may still take some time to prove, but Chris has the tools at his fingertips and the passion to follow through. What do you love so much about the weather? Wow, well, <laughs> that's like asking your mother what she loves about her kids, I guess. Watching the weather, that's his baby. So thank you to Chris for all the hard work that he does. You can log on to Environment Canada's website to see the uh, weather data, the daily data from uh, his weather station in Hudson. Pretty impressive not to miss more than a few days in 20 years of wow. record keeping. It goes out in the morning and in the evening and gets those temperatures for us. They say everybody talks about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. He's doing something about it. Literally, yeah. literally. All right, Ashford, thank you. You're welcome.